Here we are at the wreck of the Nicaragua, 51 miles down the national seashore. I just wanted to show you some good stories behind it. You can research this. Uh, if you go online, you can see when this actual wreck was on the beach, it shows how the water moves in and out. And there's a load of like model T Fords in front of it. It was a group from Victoria who drove down to look at it and it took them two weeks to get here, I think, something like that. Anyhow, it's worth researching. That's the uh, boilers that you can see, but you can also see, it looks like a, a forward point, a couple of posts. There you go, mates right on a point here comes in real close over there and over there so we picked here and we've got what we call a good spread no bites at the moment water clarity is good so let's see what happens anyhow it's a beautiful morning as you can see very little wind. What there is, I'm feeling a little bit of wind on my back, so it's from the west. And I'll keep you posted. Check this out, it's beautiful. Looks like there's a good pond over there. That's uh, the land cut, I believe, here. But we're looking at the south end of it. We're about 50 odd miles down the beach. I was reading about what they called the wreck of the 300, which was uh, three of the four galleons that set off from, I believe, Tampico, that area, and were trying to make it to Cuba when they got hit by a hurricane. They got washed ashore. So it says 50 miles south of Corpus. So that could be in the 30 areas which is where Billy Sandifer said he had an encounter with a ghost. 300 people died on that beach around there. And those that were left alive decided they could walk south because they believed there was a, a city in close proximity. It wasn't. The nearest thing south was uh, 300 miles away. Anyhow, Brenda's shouting at me for something. So anyhow, it's quite an interesting story. And, and the Kronkor invited, gave them fish and said they could come and eat with them. So they did. And then once they settled in, they started killing them and eating them. Anyhow, that's just a short story of the wreck of the 300. This is a very remote beach to get stuck on especially back then. Brenda's point to a sun dog. There, that's normally foretells a change in the weather, but perfect. Good one, Bren. Who hey, well, we found a, a nice point. Water clarity is really good. So I'm just gonna put some fish bites and shrimp on that we've pre-rigged. This fish bites is the key. We've done really well with it lately. Let's hope it works as well today. So anyhow, high tide was about three hours ago. So we're, the tide's dropping nicely. I'm just gonna bang these rigs out. Real nice hole there over to my left. These pre-rig baits speed it up no end. 
can get a bait out in seconds. I think what happens is the shrimp puts another scent value down, but you can catch pom on just fish bites. I've done really well in the past with them. And uh, so we try and put a shrimp on there as well, like a teaser, if you like. So they do work awesome together. So we're doing what we call a spread. There's a big hole off here to my left. I can reach over that bar, I think, if everything goes well. So let's see what happens. Just checking the drags. I put the rods out. Didn't go over the drag, so I need to come back and just check every one of them. This line's gone slack. Let's see if we've got anything on it. Might be a pump. I just saw something break the water, but it could just be weed. Let's see. Oh, I think it's a pump. Could be the first one of the day if it is. Swimming hard sideways, it's a pump. Pump! Pump for no! Let's have a look at this baby. Well, that's a good one, about a three pounder. Interesting point, if you look at a fish closely, you can tell how it eats, all right? Now, the, like uh, this hasn't got teeth or it hasn't got a big aggressive mouth, it's a burrower. Most of the stuff it eats comes out the sand, it's like it loves uh, sand dollars. Corkina, stuff like that. If you open them up, they're full of it. So you can tell just by looking at the fish. Now we do put floats on our pomp rig, but they're more for illumination. They just keep it on the surface, keep it moving around. And so there, that's why we put the float on. But these fish work, they're, they're working off Barrel, burrowing into the sand and getting coquina or you got a bite you've got a bite your rod just went off your rod both mine. Oh, oh the furthest one okay. well it's gone slack oh, it's going it that okay It's got a slant. The runner could start it. Yeah, this could be a pump as well. But Brenda's in a good fight. Don't know what she's got into, but she's into something. Brenda's catching whiting at the yin yang. This one's broke out. That one's broke out. I lost it. No, I haven't. This, put it in the ice chest, I'll get that one out. Spend the cast in the Omega.
beautiful car. No, you're all right. I think he's just over it. I don't think we. I think I'm just over it. I don't think I'm twisted up. Well, I am twisted. Yeah, I got it. It's all right. Let her come in. Let me get it in. Whatever it is. Number three. Yep, number three. Hopefully in counting. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have to cut back on rods, I think. We keep yeah. getting okay. tangled up. Hang on. Beautiful, Annie. Oh my gosh. Yep, you're starting to get the yellow. <laughs> uh huh. Beautiful fish, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> How are you doing? Pretty good, mate. How are you? We've got three. Yeah. Jeff's a little wall. slow. Jeff, that's Walda right there. Uh -huh. And he's picked up one or two. He just started. So. Yeah. We, we only started about an hour ago. Why did you drive past the 20s is why I'm starting to ask myself. It looked really good in the fucking 20s. Okay. I was coming through earlier. Yeah. And when we've had like strong north winds, how yeah. that beach bends. Uh -huh. The deep water tends to clean here, it blows it. Oh, it looks much better down here. Yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Oh, Look how. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. out and it went off the soon the second he turned around hopefully he's got a pump enough got something Put water in that big hole there. yeah Good it's really long cars, yeah. yeah but it's still kind of far yeah. out there when they get the yeah. <clears throat> Don't ever pick these up by the tail. They can turn around and bite the shit out of you. I was looking at these sensors here. Can you see that pattern on them? Right? And a lot of people try and pick a shark up by the tail. He can actually turn and touch his tail with no trouble. So if you're going to get hold of them, hold them upside down. Pretty looking fish, gorgeous. They say if you look close at nature, you'll see your god looking back at you. Look at that eyeball. You can go back, little one. You go and tell your mama that you got to get a little fat before I'm interested in you. Pretty fish, go on. Could be a shark, it's a bit too aggressive for a pom, or it could be a big pom. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I don't know, it looks like a pom. Could be a good one. Ho <laughs> ho! A fatty. Well, the size of that one. Beautiful fish.
That is a little biggie. Really nice. I'm sorry mate, thank you. Turn off here. Huh? Nice! Nice fish there, Bryn. You're on camera, I got you. <laughs> Good one. What you got? Oh, That's another nice one. Yeah, baby. How are we doing in the pot? We're doing really good. It's now coming up to oh, 11 o'clock. It's 10 past 11 and we've got a ton of them. That's very good. Some big ones in there as well. Oh, yeah. Yes. That is a nice pump. Good job, guys. I see him. What you got, Bryn? I don't know yet. <laughs> I see him a pumping out, but It's a pump! It's a pump! Nice. Oh, and a whiting. Double, double hook. Good job, Brent. Could be a nice different angle. Yeah. Get this sand off there. Okay, this one is a cooker. Uh, yeah, but let's just um, do them all in halves and then just take them okay. off. 
put the skin on and then um, we'll decide later what to put in the... Well, I would like to cook them whole when we do them. <laughs> Not you get here. Get over here. Don't worry. I'll get in the house. Come on, gentlemen. Oh, hmm? He's um singing over there. Where? Um Oh. We're right. just um covering our pompano with uh, honey. And it's been brined for 12 hours, hasn't it? Brined and then it's set for... So so you have to let it set water. until it becomes tacky. Yeah. And that's shiny. like shiny. And it gives you, a, it needs a, quite a few, you know, a good, probably 10, 12 hours. Yeah. All right, so we've loaded it. This is the smoker. Got a pan of water here. And I can feel the heat coming up. And then we soak the uh, the apple chips for like, they've been in there for a couple of days now, so they'll smoke real well. The problem is keeping it alight when, um, with this wind blowing, but I'll keep an eye on it. So I've got to go and clean the truck. We're just gonna check, there's a lot of smoke, I wanna make sure we haven't got a lot of flames. Sean. Yeah, they're doing great. Okay. Well, let me just check here. That's good. All right. I've there you go. More. Just open that button. <laughs> she just threw it in there. <laughs> You're such a